What's up guys, this is Forrest Knight. Welcome to IW Journey episode 15, where I take you along my iOS development journey from zero to app. Now we're gonna be going over creating a Party Rock Mansion app. Uh, there's a lot of content in this. We create the UI, we make sure it's, you know, the auto layout's all good, the constraints are well. We go over everything that has to do with the UI. It's kind of basic UI really, but it's, you know, it takes a little bit of effort to make sure it fits on all devices. And after that, we do a, we basically make a feed where it's a feed of YouTube videos. So we're going to have to make a feed, make a table view with all the cells, make sure we're going to hard code uh, the YouTube videos into the cells and whatnot. So it's not going to be pulling data and we're not going to use an API or anything like that, but we are going to be embedding YouTube videos into our application. So there's a lot of content. We'll go through as much as we can today. I'll find a good, uh, you know, ending point and then we'll, carry this out and finish this app up next week. So let's go ahead and get to that. Actually before we get to that I'd like to discuss something real quick. A lot of people were saying how it was kind of not good practice the way we were creating a few of the apps before. We weren't using a MVC or model view controller. We were just making a lot of, I don't know the alternative, a lot of ID outlets, we're, a lot of uh, actions. We we're doing a lot of different things that didn't it wasn't good practice. We need to practice MVC. But what we do in this app is we we go over MVC, like we build this app using model view controller. So better practice in this app. And I'm glad that we're going through that because as many people pointed out, that's a better way to do it. And actually I noticed after this, after we create this app, the very next one is we go over model view controller. So we kind of use it a little bit in order to get our brains accustomed to model view controller without even realizing it. And then once we discuss it after, we'll be like, oh, okay, that's why we did that. Or, you know, it makes more sense to do it a little bit, you know, use MVC a little bit and then discuss it. Just like if you were going to class, a lot of teachers recommend you read through the chapter first. You might not understand it, but once the teacher talks about it in class, then you're kind of like, Oh, okay. Now I remember we, you know, we read, I read over that chapter and now it makes sense that the teacher's going over it. Otherwise, otherwise the teacher would be going over the chapter in class and you would be lost and you wouldn't, it would be harder to pay attention and whatnot. So that's why it's good to kind of go through what you're doing with model view controller and then we'll discuss it after and then we'll go and use it some more. Just like in class, you would read through the chapter before, go over it in class and then go back over the chapter after if you're a good student. And if you're a good student, you're gonna learn more, and that's what we're trying to do with this. We're trying to learn more. So, we're going over model view controller. That's basically what the whole spiel is about, which is good practice. And now we're gonna go create the UI for the Party Rock Mansion app, and maybe get into the table view and whatnot. So, let's get to it. So we start off with a single view application, and we're gonna insert a UI image view in order to have our main banner up there. We're going to throw in the Party Rock Mansion graphic that we got in the Udemy course. And now we're going to throw in a regular view. This is where our buttons are going to be. So basically they are tabs. We're going to name the first top video. We're going to make it the same color as the pink and Party Rock. And we're going to duplicate it twice. So we're, we're going to have three of them. We're going to place those over there. We're going to name them the proper names. We changed the other two colors to a gray to show that top videos is selected. The tab of top videos is selected. And we're gonna throw them into a UI stack view so it's a lot easier to space and to deal with. We have to make sure we set the proper constraints for the UI stack view. Now we enter a table view, a table view cell inside of that. We change the background of the table view cell because it's easier to work with. We can see the size and where the view, the cell actually is. Now we add a UI image view in there. This will basically be the image view for the video. So this view, this image view, although it only is the Party Rock Mansion graphic, is supposed to represent the video. And then we add the title of the video the music video, I guess Where the Sun Goes is, uh, is a song by the Red Foo guy. The, I think his band is LMFAO. Pick whatever font you want for that, and then we're going to create a view controller. And we're going to name that view controller Video VC. Make sure you create a file for that, as well as change the actual name of the view controller to Video VC so it all matches up. 
We're going to create a segue from our previous view controller to this one. And basically, this view controller will show the video. So when you click on it, it'll show the video. We're just going to throw in some UI there, and that's basically it. So that's where we're going to end it. We did most of the UI in this app. Next week, we have a lot of coding to do. I have to redo it. I've already done it. You can see some of the code that we go through. We have to make many different files. You know, we have to make a file, at least one file for model, view, and controller. And we go through that. There's a lot of coding involved. And next week, I want to keep the video as short as possible because I don't like to make videos upwards of 20 minutes. I feel like it's hard to sit through. It's also harder for me to edit because it's a whole lot longer. I like to keep around 10 minutes. So I'll do my best to keep it short, sweet. Uh, I, I need to, I know I want to pack in a lot of information in there. And that's basically it for this video. If you enjoyed it, check out some of my other content right here. And if you wish to subscribe, that'll be right around here. And I really hope you do. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a good one.